Globe Mad Geeks. I'm at the Grey Glacier in Patagonia and this beautiful place is really tempting me to take a swim. So let's talk about the science of cold. When your body gets cold, it has mechanisms to keep your temperature stable in a process called homeostasis. Nerves which are close to your skin detect the sudden change in temperature and send a signal to your brain. Now a part of your brain called the hypothalamus deals with that signal and then sends a message back to your body that helps your body respond to the extreme cold. A few things are going to happen when I take a swim. The capillaries which carry blood close to my skin are going to get smaller. We call this vasoconstriction. The diameter gets smaller and smaller, so there's less blood closer to the surface where the cold is, so my body loses less heat. Another thing that happens is um, the small hairs on this, the skin stand up, and that creates an air insulation layer around your skin. Now, if you've ever got cold and you look at your hands, you look at your arms, you might sometimes see goose pimples. That's the same reason because the hairs are being stood up by tiny muscles underneath the surface of your skin. So I'm going to get really, really, really cold in the name of science today. Okay, so here goes. I'm cold already. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! That is freezing! My extremities are really cold, but my core temperature can still be at 37 degrees Celsius as long as I get out of the water quickly and get warm. So I'm going to do some press ups really, really quickly, get the blood pumping again. I've learned from Bear Grylls. been out of the water for about five minutes now and I've suddenly gotten really cold. In fact the coldest part wasn't when I first came out, it's now. And I realised what's happened. When I was in the water, the extremities of my body got very, very, very cold but my core stayed at a, a decent temperature at 37 degrees Celsius. But as I've come out of the water, my core is still cold and the blood has to pump back into the extremities and warm them back up again and that means that my, my core temperature is now beginning to drop as all of that cold blood goes back towards my heart and back towards my core. I am so cold. Now hypothermia is a condition when your core temperature drops below a critical amount and you begin to con uncontrollably shiver like this. So I think I'm just starting to get into the first stages of hypothermia so we really need to get moving now.